So today we're going to work on adding and subtracting and dividing and multiplying with functions, also called function arithmetic. And I've given you three functions. The first function is f of x, which is x squared plus 3x minus 5. The second function is g of x, which is 5x plus 8. And the third function is h of x, which is 1 over 3x minus 5. And so I've asked you to do a couple of things. And the first one I've asked you is uh, for um, is number one, find f plus g of x. Now what we're really telling you is to take this function f, and this function g, and add them together. So what we're going to do is we're going to say x squared plus 3x minus 5 plus 5x plus 8. And this is the same as in, uh, in most algebra books. They have a section on adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing with polynomials. And so in this case, what we have is we're actually asking you to add polynomials. Well, to add polynomials, all you do is combine like terms. So uh, x squared does not have a like term. Uh, 3x plus 5x makes 8x, and negative 5 plus 8 makes 3. And so we get x squared plus 8x plus 3, combining like terms. Um, our second problem says f minus h. So we're going to say f minus h. Okay, uh, And this will be a little more complicated, so I'm going to give myself a little room. So we're going to say f minus h, which is 1 over 3x minus 5. Now, to subtract these two, we need a common denominator. Uh, the denominator over here is just 1. So, to combine these two, we're going to need the common denominator, which is 3x minus 5. And so, we have here x squared plus 3x minus 5 over 1. 1 over 3x minus 5. The LCD is 3x minus 5. So, down here, this is going to go unchanged. This will be 3x minus 5. Okay. This, on the other hand, what we have to do with it is we have to multiply it by the LCD on the top and the bottom because this is an expression. So 3x minus 5 on top, 3x minus 5 on bottom. If we do that, what we are going to end up with uh, on the bottom is very simple. One, mi 1 times 3x minus 5 is 3x minus 5. Notice we have a common denominator. Uh, the numerator is going to be the fun part, which is where you have to take this times that. And what you end up with is you end up with 3x to the third plus 4x squared minus 30x plus 23. 25, excuse me, plus 25, plus 25. Uh, okay, so now you've got this fraction, you've got this fraction, and you combine the numerators. Now, the denominator will not change. The denominator will remain 3x minus 5 because that's the common denominator. Uh, the numerators are real simple. You take this numerator minus that numerator, okay? Well, like terms, you got 25 minus 1, what do you get? You get 24. Okay, um, what about the rest of this? There's no like terms, so it gets copied. 3x to the third plus 4x squared minus 30x plus 24 over 3x minus 5. And that is f minus h of x. That is f minus h of x. Okay, here we've got f times g. So what they've asked us to do is f... There's f times g. Okay? So that's what they've asked us to do, f times g. Well, how do we do that? Well, it's real simple. We use a thing called the distributive method, and that's where you distribute this term to all three of these terms. You distribute this term to all three of these terms. So you should end up with six terms. So we distribute, we get 5x cubed plus 15x squared minus 25x plus 8x squared plus 24x 
and then minus 40. Minus 40. Just squeak it onto the page there. And then we have to combine our like terms. So I write 5x cubed down because there's no like terms. x squared, I have two terms. So I have 15 and 8. Add those together, you get 23x squared x terms, I have negative 25 and positive 24, which gives me a negative 1x. And then copy the minus 40. And there is your combined, there is your uh, multiplication, f times g. Okay. Um, problem number four, they've asked us to find f plus g of 5. They ask us to find f plus g of 5. Well, I know that f plus g was x squared plus 8x plus 3. I did that earlier, okay? f plus g was that. So I copy that answer, and they want me to find that of 5. So what does that mean? Everywhere you have x, you put a 5. So really what I need to do is 5 squared plus 8 times 5 plus 3. Well, 5 squared is 25, and 8 times 5 is 40, and then 3. So 25 plus 40 plus 3, which gives me 68. Okay, so whenever you ask to find, say, f plus g of 5, the easiest thing to do is find f plus g and then plug in 5. So here I've been asked to find f divided by h over 2. So I say, okay, what is f divided by h? Well, I have x squared plus 3x minus 5 divided by 1 over 3x minus 5. Okay, that's f divided by h. Well, I was always taught that you could keep, change, and flip. So f times, now flip h, and what do you get? 3x minus 5 over 1. Well, if we multiply those, I get 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 30x plus 25, if I multiply that out. Now what do we do? This is f over h. This is f over h, okay? I want to know f over h of 2. So now everywhere I have x, what do I put? I put a 2, so 3 times 2 cubed plus 4 times 2 squared minus 30 times 2 plus 25. And I work this out, I end up with a grand total of 5. If I, because uh, you 2 to the third is 8, and 3 times 8, and then 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 4, and then minus 60, and you add all this up and you end up with a grand total of 5. So um, the last one is f minus h of 1. So how would we do that? Well, the first thing we have to do is find f minus h, okay? Well, you know what's fun about that is if you go up a few problems, we did f minus h. And if you follow our work for f minus h, here's what we got. We got this big mess here, okay? So I can take that answer and I can copy it. And I say, okay, f minus h was 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 30x plus 24 over 3x minus 5. And I take that problem and I say, okay, everywhere you have x, I want you to put 1. Okay, everywhere you have x, I want you to put 1. Well, 1 cubed is 1. So 1 times 3, you get 3. Same thing here. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Here, negative 30 times 1 is negative 30. And then plus 24 over uh, 3 times 1 is 3. So 3 minus 5. Okay. So then I bring that over and I say, okay, we can just disregard that little bit of work up there. We bring this over and we say, okay, 
Um, 3 plus 4 plus 24 is a total of 31. 31 minus 30 is 1. And 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So I get 1 over negative 2, which is the same as negative 1 half. Okay. So kind of a fun little problem there. We work all of this out and we end up getting uh, negative 1 half. So anyway, this is function arithmetic, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing with different functions. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.